My name is Crystal Wapipa from Wapipa's Kitchen located here in Oakland, California. I am Kickapoo and Sack and Fox. And today I am gonna make you a bakery mix along with a forged salmon berry. And we're gonna make a quick, easy process of a pancakes. And what the equipment that we need is just a water, a bowl, and a whisk. If you don't have a whisk, it's okay. Um, we always do the go-to, which is a fork. To start off with the recipe, I want to start off with two cups of the bakery mix. I'm kind of pouring it in here. Just up to the level will be good. And then as I go for the second cup, I'm gonna pour more bakery mix into that. There we go. And then along with that, we're gonna have our fork. We're just gonna kind of air it out just because of the clumps and just kind of start it off where it can be nice and fine. And then from there, we're gonna add one cup of water. Tap water is fine. We're gonna mix that into there, right into the batter mix as we get a good, nice little flow here. You see, it's just gonna come out just like a regular pancake mix. And then I'm gonna talk more about the salmon berries as I'm folding it all in together, coming together in this. We have a really, really good texture. You want it just like a pancake mix of the texture of a pancake. Yeah, I know you see the little lumps, but we're gonna kinda press those out a little bit. And then from there, we're gonna have a half a cup of the salmon berries. Let me tell you a little bit about the salmon berries. The salmon berries actually, they grow up north and how they hang, what is pretty phenomenal and pretty. They kinda look like a raspberry and they also grow in August all the way up until October. It all kind of depends how the weather is. Salmon berries actually has this tart, a sweet tart taste when it comes to this. Actually, if you want to get something that's close to it, we're going to talk about more of the lingonberry all the way up into a raspberry. So I have a half a cup of forged salmon berries. We're going to add into the pancake mix. We're gonna actually, we're gonna fold it in and it comes out with this beautiful color, a real pretty pink color. We're gonna fold that into there. And I know you're probably asking, do we need to put any sugar or do we need to put any baking powder, any salt? No, we do not. When it comes to the bakery mix, it's everything is already added into this. Um, this is just a fun way and a nice, good, healthy way of having that connection with that forage item. What we're gonna do is actually put it on a griddle. I have a little big spoon right here, but it's okay. Even if you have a little spoon, what we're gonna do is we're gonna actually make it like a little bit over a silver dollar size. You can make them as big or small as you want, but I like to have it just a good, we're gonna say a quarter cup. What I'm gonna do is just get a nice good heaping spoonful and we're gonna place it onto the griddle. It's gonna be a little bit more, I call it a silver dollar size kind of type of um, pancake when it comes to the salmon berries because you're gonna also tell how the batter is a little thick, but the, the reason why is because it's gonna hold the berries in there. If you made your, your um, batter really thin, your berries will kind of just fall, kind of fall all over the place, which is great too, but also at the same time, you want it to make it have an even texture just because when you bite into it, you're gonna get all the salmon berries the way they should be. And then as I'm gonna let it sit right here for actually 60 seconds, 
and then we're gonna do a 60 more seconds onto the side. And you see how pretty and light color it is. And then you also see how the salmon berries is kind of really popping out. So we're gonna have that warm cakey texture along with the salmon berries, which is a little tart. So it kind of comes out very evenly when it comes to the flavor. How I serve it is actually, I have the fresh forged salmon berries and I'm actually gonna add them on top of the pancakes. You see how I have them right there? Now we also have just different suggestions. You can add some butter if you like or you can add some syrup if you like. But when you have this nice and just fresh serve, um, you get more of the salmon berries. This is really great for on-the-go camping trips. You can forge and make pancakes.